Hey everybody, Super Mario 134 here, also known as Dan, and today I'm making my Nintendo video game collection video. I know I've been getting a lot of requests from a lot of fans asking me to show what I've got, and I figure, you know what, why not? And seeing how it's also been about two years, my uh, collection has certainly updated, so there's a lot of new stuff that you guys haven't seen before. As you can see, I mean, right here we got some new posters, uh, the Breath of the Wild poster, very nice. Uh, one of my best friends gave it to me for my birthday, so uh, shout out to you, buddy. Thank you for that. Uh, you guys have seen most of these before in old and previous videos, so like, you know, that poster's a classic. Uh, this guy, I'm sure you've seen. This was a pre-order bonus with Galaxy 2. Uh, obviously, this guy's new. Uh, I got this with my pre-order bonus with uh, Mario Odyssey, so that's uh, pretty awesome. Mario Bros. 3, and then more Mario Bros. 3, one of my favorite Mario games. And of course, Ocarina of Time, a really awesome poster, also given to a friend of mine. Uh, given from a friend of mine, rather. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so like uh, those are my posters, and uh, let's actually get into the meat and potatoes of things right now. We have a lot to cover, so uh, gonna do a little quick cut here. Alrighty, so right here we got the consoles. As you can tell, we got the whole family all together. Don't mind me and my shaky cam. I'm kind of doing this uh, freehand style, you know, keeping it classic. Uh, otherwise, we'll go through each one, seeing how it's a nice chronological order. We'll go through uh, the very first, the OG NES, Nintendo uh, Entertainment System. Ironically, it is actually the last system I got for my collection. Like, I had everything since, but uh, yeah, he was the last one I purchased. It still works really well. Thanks to Toy Rat for that. I'll shout out to you guys, which is a vintage video game store. So yeah, very cool, very nice. Uh, over here, obviously we got the second one in line, we got my Super Nintendo. So pardon me if it's a little blurry, but uh, yeah, we got the Super Nintendo right here. It's pretty sweet, love it. Got a whole bunch of batteries there. Uh, you know, when you're a gamer, you gotta have batteries because some controllers support them. I believe none should, but it's mainly like the Wii remotes and such, but eh, whatever, right? Uh, so Super Nintendo, then my all-time favorite system of all time, it is the Nintendo 64 which so happens to be my very first system that I grew up with, being a 90s kid, born in 96. Uh, shout out to any 90s babies out there that grew up with this. Uh, definitely a, a worthwhile purchase if you don't have one already. Uh, next we got the GameCube. This is really sweet, still works well. I love it, I just love how it just pops open like that, right? It's very cool. Uh, I'm very happy with this. Um, you know, I play most of my GameCube games on the Wii, which is the next introduction. Uh, but, you know, it's always good to have it, always. Uh, it's easy to carry around and, you know, play Melee. I mean, I don't know if anyone out there plays some Melee competitive. I'm not the best, but I will play every now and then with some friends. And then, uh, speaking of, like, I love these segues. Here we go. We're, uh, we're on the Wii U now. Um, you know, it's got a lot of flack and everything like that for being the Wii U and not the best system out there, but it's had some gems. And the one game, obviously, that comes to mind would be Smash Bros, you know, there's that's the only reason really I go back to the Wii U is to play Smash Bros with my friends and everything. It's a solid like system for Smash. I love it and uh, yeah. And then the piece de resistance. I'm trying to be fancy, but I can't say French words because I don't speak it. Uh, is the Nintendo Switch. So despite it being a little dark in here, mind you, the system itself is pretty dark. I got the Nintendo Switch. Uh, very cool. It's very cool. See, there you go. Slide it out of the dock and then goes back into the dock. I turned it on now. Uh, I love my Nintendo Switch. I got it on launch day and I do not regret it. They just keep coming out with more and more games that I just get excited for. And honestly, the library is very diverse. So anyone out there who's on the fence on getting a Switch, I can honestly tell you it's awesome. I know I'm biased because I love Nintendo, but it's just you can get now you're getting Dark Souls. You got Mario Odyssey, The Legend of Zelda. And that's just to name a few. I mean, there's a whole bunch I'm missing, but <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, definitely uh, recommend you guys going for a Switch at some point in your life. But uh, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, uh, that's all the systems I got. Turn that off. See you later. Um, yeah, so the whole family is all here. To quote SpongeBob, the gang's all here. Uh, yeah, we got the whole family all together. I love it. Like, looking at it, the nerd in me just goes crazy because I love seeing all the systems together. But uh, yeah, so that's it for the consoles, that is. Uh, now to move on to the handhelds, and then we'll move on to the games. All right, we'll see you there. 
Alrighty, so here we are uh, with the, uh, you can see the reflection, <laughs> uh, with the handhelds. Now you're probably thinking, oh, that's not much, that's only two. Well, you're right, but thing is, I did have a Game Boy Advance at one point in my life, and same with a Game Boy Color. However, as uh, you grow up, you learn that you could trade in things and to put towards others, but now looking at it, it's kind of like, you know, I wish I kept it for collection purposes. Regardless though, I'm happy I still have my SP. It's a very classic system, as you know, and any fan would know immediately when they see this emerald color that the game I have in here is uh, Pokemon Emerald. You know, let me get a little, like, to pardon me for the blurriness. The camera's been acting up a little lately, but uh, yeah, so Pokemon Emerald, one of the best games uh, for Pokemon, or for Game Boy. I'll show you more, I have more than just that. Otherwise, I do have my 3DS, new 3DS XL. I'm very happy with that. I haven't really played it much since I got the Switch, believe it or not. I know there's Ultra Moon and Sun, obviously, and then the Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga remake. Certainly we'll get to that eventually. I've just been mainly on that guy right there, the Switch. But uh, yeah, so I love my 3DS. Very worthwhile purchase also. Now let's uh, get to more of the Game Boy Advance games. And I got my Ocarina also. Alrighty, we got this magic bag right here. I'm um, gonna reach inside it and see what we get. A uh, whole bunch of things are in here, but uh, let's see what's the first thing that's come out. Uh, is this empty? Let's see, we're gonna find out what the heck is in here. It's empty! How great start! How wonderful is that? Not important, we don't need that. See you later. Um, let's try that again. <laughs> But these are the cases I keep most of my Game Boy Advance games in. Uh, here we go. We got a game right here. And, wow, you know, we're just getting the great games here. Uh, it's a mystery game. It's a creepypasta. You don't know what's in there. It's uh, mysterious. Ooh. No, it's actually, uh, believe it or not, I believe this game is actually Yoshi's Island, which is another fantastic game. Unfortunately, has the, uh, you know, thing scratched off the label. But what can you do, right? Otherwise, let's see what else we got. Right here we got... It's kind of hard to do it with one hand, but uh, here we go. Ah, awesome. So we were just talking about this, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Here's the OG one. I love this game. Like, this series is awesome. I'll be honest, I didn't really get Paper Jam. Didn't really, you know, see the appeal of it. But, you know, uh, what's the next one, or the newest one? Well, the remake of this game. That's really awesome, and I plan on picking that up eventually. But, uh, yeah, solid game. Let's see what else. Ooh, we got some Game Boy Color games I was talking about. Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. That's a really fun game. I love the, uh, I don't, oh yeah, for OG fans who saw the old video, uh, I have some guy named Darchi, Darchi, um, and like his phone number on here. I'm just gonna cover that up, even though you probably saw it, but, uh, yeah, I got your game, dude. I don't know how that happened, but, uh, yeah. It's, sorry, if you ever want to see your game again, contact me, but, you know, I'm gonna keep it for now. <laughs> Otherwise, let's see, we got more. We got another Game Boy Advance games. We got Expand Dong, or sorry, Donkey Kong Country. This is a fun game. I really like this a lot. Hard as hell though. Those minecart levels freaking piss me off so much. I'm sure anybody who has this game could understand or relate. Uh, Mario Party Advance. So this is also really cool. I like this game a lot. It's a, it's a great Mario Party spinoff. Um, let's see, anything else? I swear I have more than just those games. Yep, yep, here we go. I'm feeling something. I think it's the last one. Um, yeah, it's the last one. Let's see. Da, 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 da. We got Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Uh, that's a fantastic Kirby game, if I ever did play one. Really like this. I know a lot of people like it, too. And uh, speaking of Kirby, I'm looking for two star allies. And let me know in the comments below if you are as well. So that's it for the Game Boy games. Unfortunately, I don't have the most, but uh, certainly we'll start to collect some more eventually over time. But uh, for now, these are solid games. So uh, that concludes it for my Game Boy games. Uh, let's move on to the actual console games. All right, we'll see you guys there. All righty, here we are with the cabinet full of games. So we have quite a bit to go through. So let's, uh, let's get started, guys. All right. So as you can tell, I have all my games organized like this. It's a little bit of a mishmash here and there of everything in one, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's start us off with like the most recent system, uh, the Switch. So uh, obviously, you gotta have Mario Odyssey. That that there's no question. You know who I am? Do you know what my name is? Mario 134, and therefore I have to have this game. It's amazing. I will. I was thinking I'm gonna probably do a little like uh, I mentioned it in my update video, a little like series where I talk about games 
each an individual one and talk about it and my thoughts and you know impressions and just memories that go alongside each game so uh, comment below on all the game and a game that you want me to review and everything like that uh, after seeing this video now that you know what I have tell me what game I should review first obviously I could do Odyssey first but you guys let me know so yeah Odyssey's there Mario Kart 8 Deluxe um, I had it for Wii U at some point but I'm like you know, I kind of like the uh, extra add-on in the battle mode on this so very worthwhile, if you ask me. And of course, Breath of the Wild, the launch title. I love this game very, very, very much. This game is awesome. But it still isn't perfect. Now, I know that's sacrilegious to say, but I'll explain more in a review of it. But I uh, still love this game very much, and I have high praise for it. Alrighty, otherwise, let's see what's here. Going all over the map here, but we're going to do the NES games. Now, I know I only have two. But uh, we got the Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt um, little combo package deal here. This is cool. And then we got Spy Hunter. I'll show you uh, what that looks like. So this was a game that my brother used to play a lot. So I got it for him for Christmas. And uh, unfortunately, it was the wrong one. The one he likes is Super Spy Hunter. But this is still a classic gem that uh, I don't know if a lot of people know what it's about. But if, if you know the game, comment below and tell me. Because it'd be nice to see any other fans. Uh, otherwise, we got the Super Nintendo games. Come on. It's like Jenga. Gotta be very careful. Oh, did, did something fall? Yeah, something did, but we will grab it. So we got Super Mario World, one of my all-time favorite Mario games also. The first Super Nintendo game, obviously, anyone really plays for them, because I think it comes with the system. Uh, we got Donkey Kong Country yet again. Really fun game. And this was the most recent actually purchase uh, for my Super Nintendo. It's a little blurry, but it's the Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. I love this game, and I can see why people say it's one of the best Zeldas. So good. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. And then uh, over here, we also got Super Mario All-Stars. Uh, the whole super deal with when you get Mario 1, 2, and 3, plus the Lost Levels. Awesome game. Super duper very cool. Love it. And then, now, I'm also, believe it or not, I'm not the biggest Power Ranger fan, but I am, my brother is, and if anyone knows, my brother and I are very close. But uh, I definitely picked up some games for him and I to play, and these are solid games at that. Ooh, don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> so we got, right over here, we got, this isn't Power Rangers, but this is actually Turtles in Time, so TMNT, Ninja Turtles. I love this game. This was actually something I wanted. I know my brother grew up with the cartoon, the uh, 80s Ninja Turtles, but I just love this game. It's a classic arcade beat-em-up, and it's super duper fun, and has awesome music. And I'll probably put some in the background of this video so you guys can hear. I think Alley Cat Blues is one of my favorites. Uh, otherwise, we will continue. We got Power Rangers The Fighting Edition. It's like another kind of like Street Fighter fighting game, 2D fighter, where you use like Megazords and like monsters and such. That's pretty sweet. I really like that. Could have a bigger roster though, but for its time, awesome. Then we got like um, the beat em ups, so like the Power Rangers movie beat em up, and then the just main series uh, Power Rangers beat em up, which are really good. The movie one has the Ivan Ooze, and this one just has like, you know, Lord Zed and all those guys. I don't know if anyone, if I sound dated, I hope uh, some of you out there know the characters I'm referring to. Uh, let me know if you do, because that'd be cool to know. Uh, yeah, so that concludes it for those. Otherwise, we will get into the Wii, uh, Wii, Wii U, GameCube, and uh, of course, in the back there, the best part for last, the Nintendo 64 games. So let's get started. Alrighty, so starting with the Wii U, got the big boy here, uh, Super Mario Maker, really cool. Has the concept art in the box, but I'm not going to open it up because it's kind of a pain in the ass to take out and put back in, but that's that. Got uh, Nintendo Land, the launch title. Uh, Super Mario Maker, of course, the game itself. Uh, we got, let's see, Super Mario 3D World. I really like this game, honestly. It's uh, really fun. I know a lot of people are so-so on it, but I think it's a great game. Uh, new Super Mario Bros. U. I'll be the first to say the last like good new Super Mario Bros. game was this game. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the series. That's really sacrilegious to say. It just kind of doesn't get so new. I'm sure you guys have seen those videos. They're not as new as they claim to be, but uh, this one's good. I like this one. Um, let's see. Uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker uh, HD. Really awesome. Love Zelda. Zelda's like my all-time favorite franchise, aside from Mario, of course. Uh, we got Smash Bros. 
you know, that goes without saying, being the most awesome game. Great to play friends. Love playing it. It's so good. Uh, we got, actually, Sonic uh, <laughs> All-Stars uh, Racing Transform. You know, this game was uh, fun for its time. It was to tie me over until Mario Kart came out, but uh, still holds up. It's fun. I won't go back to it now that Mario Kart's out, but still fun to have. Uh, Monster Hunter. <laughs> Funny story of Monster Hunter. I'm not exactly the best when it comes to it. Uh, pardon me. It's just falling on the camera. Um, yeah, I'm not the best when it comes to Monster Hunter. My friend absolutely adores the series and is currently playing World. Um, let me know if you guys like uh, Monster Hunter at all. I think I'd love to get World if I had a PlayStation or Xbox, but uh, as you guys can tell, I'm kind of, you know, sold my soul to Nintendo for now. For now. I might get a PlayStation at some point. Might. It's a keyword. Um, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Really, eh, it's an alright game. It was great for co-op, but uh, sorry, I don't really play it all that often anymore. Uh, now, my favorite game series still to this day is the Galaxy games. Love Mario Galaxy 1. Super fun. Creative. I'll go in depth when I review it, but it's so much fun. Galaxy 2, also fantastic game. I mean, it just picks up where it left off and uh, added more features. Otherwise, Mario Kart Wii. Fun game. Mario Party 8, the last good, well, Decently good Mario Party. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Uh, Mario Party 9. Oh boy. <laughs> Venturing into this territory now. Uh, you know, it's okay. It's not terrible, but it's just like, you know, bring back the classic formula that we all love. I'm sure a lot of you guys can agree, maybe not. Uh, again, comment below what your thoughts are on the Mario Party series. Do wish it would go back to its regular roots, but whatever. Um. Mario Super Sluggers, I love Mario Baseball, that's such a great sport, um, this game was awesome, I know they have the Superstar uh, sports mix crazy thing for 3DS, but um, it's just not as good, sorry, just can't do it, I played it, it's alright, but uh, definitely, um, you know, maybe I'll pick it up, but still, this one, if I'm going to play Mario Baseball, this guy, or the GameCube one, uh, Superstar Baseball, would be the, my choice, there we go, um, Mario Sports Mix. Speaking of Mario Sports titles, uh, this one's pretty cool. It's interesting to have a, a mix of Final Fantasy characters with Mario playing sports. Very obscure, if you ask me. Um, otherwise, it's very fun. You know, I like the dodgeball. Being Canadian, the hockey's not too bad. It's, uh, it's alright, I suppose. Uh, Twilight Princess Zelda, there we go. This was actually the first Zelda I ever played. It's a lot of fun. I like it. I can't complain. People are like, oh, it's too dark. But, you know, I like it a lot. And... It's a solid game, you know? I'd go back and maybe one day I'll get the HD remake, but I uh, just haven't had the need. Kind of Breath of the Wild took my Zelda craving and conquered it now. Skyward Sword, also a very controversial title. I liked it. You know, it's not as like open world as I'd hope it would be, but it's still a lot of fun, and it's a great game in its own right. Uh, Brawl. <laughs> Brawl was cool. I remember the hype that came with Brawl. Oh my god, finding out Sonic was in it. I remember freaking out. Me and my friends would always uh, go on the Dojo website to check out the updates. You know, it was a very big hype. Like, I don't think there was any other game aside from this. Maybe Breath of the Wild got my hype going, but this, something about this got me going back in grade 6. It still holds up, but uh, don't really play it. Don't really like the tripping mechanic, but still fun to remember about the excitement. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Uh, I had the original, but I got rid of it because I just didn't want it. But uh, it's alright. You know, it's fun. It's a party game. Uh, I like the snowboarding. That's pretty solid. It's in Canada. Knowing that Mario and Sonic are in Canada, same country as me. It's weird. Whoa. Crazy. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to put that there. Getting to the end of the Wii titles. Only two more left. Uh, WarioWare. Smooth moves. Love this game. I still play it with friends. It's a good time. It is a real good time. And it makes... Uh, the motion controls like make you look really stupid, and I love that, so, great game. We Play uh, is also cool, I guess. It's just your, you know, standard, you know, party games and stuff back when the Wii just released, but uh, that tank game right there had me busy for hours. I played that with my bus uh, best friend a lot of times. Also, you're probably wondering where it is. It's uh, in here somewhere, but I have the slim little Mario, uh, not Mario, sorry, uh, Wii Sports disc that came with the Wii. I have Wii Sports, that game's fun, I'll just talk about it, but I don't have to show it, I guess. Uh, GameCube titles, alright, so I wish I had more GameCube titles, but right now I'm pretty content with what I got. We got Mario Sunshine, awesome game, uh, still fun to play. Luigi's Mansion, I play this every Halloween, every Halloween, because it's still fun. I like horror and spooky stuff, 
and everything like that, and Luigi's Mansion takes that and adds Mario to it. So what what the heck? It's perfect. Match made in heaven. Perfect. Uh, we got the Zelda Collector's Edition. Um, has Ocarina, Majora's Mask, uh, Zelda 1, 2, and then the demo of Wind Waker, I believe. It's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, Smash Bros. Melee. You know, any hardcore Smash fans gotta have Melee. Um, I love it. So good. Uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Oh my god, I could be one for hours, but I'm gonna save myself until the video when I talk about it. I love Thousand Year Door. Like, with all my heart. It's such a good game. I can gush about it for hours. Really, like, I'm not even kidding. I will make, like, a, a Game Explain 3, 5, 7 hour discussion video on why I love this game. And I will probably do that at some point. Maybe not that long, but, you know. <laughs> uh, Power Tennis. Good game. I like the tennis games. Strikers. This game I still play with my friends. We stay up late playing this game. Uh, friendships will be broken. This game is awesome. I love Strikers. Please, Nintendo, if you're listening, and somehow, or if an employee is, or anybody, make a Strikers, like a good Strikers, not the Wii one, but the Strikers for GameCube for Switch. Soul Calibur 2. Um, I'm not big into the fighting genre, genre but, you know, because Link's in it, I kind of got it, and I love playing this also with my girlfriend. She kicks my ass, so that's fun. <laughs> Sonic Mega Collection is also really cool, really fun game. Played off my brother. Some Sonic 1 and 2 collection, all that. Crash Bandicoot. I like Crash. Um, I'm not gonna make the obvious meme reference. You guys can, you know, comment about it. But you know, it's a great game. I like it a lot. And then over in this blank cartridge or case right here is Lego Star Wars 2. But I'm not gonna open it up because it's just the disc. But yeah, that concludes for all those games. Uh, now, uh, I'll just quickly show you right here. Got all the controllers. It's a little dark in there, but you can see the N64 GameCube in the back, you know, NES. I'll take this out. All wrapped up. And then Super Nintendo. Otherwise, got Wii Motes here that kind of camouflage because they're black. Otherwise, I'm going to go on to the N64 games. So, uh, let's do that right now. Alrighty, here we go. We got a little tub of N64 goodness for ya. So uh, get ready for a nostalgic trip, guys. This is gonna be intense. Alright, so starting us off, right off the bat, the very first game I've ever played in my gaming career is Super Mario 64. Awesome title. I can talk about this for hours. Love it. So good. Love it so much. Um, yeah, like I said, comment below, guys, on what game you want me to talk about next, but... That's gonna be the start off. Got Mario Kart 64, also great. Uh, if you hate yourself and you wanna break your palms and rip skin, I think I still have like a scar somewhere on there. Uh, this game is for you, Mario Party 1. Uh, I'm sure everyone knows the notorious uh, things that go on with uh, that game. Mario Party 2, this is uh, considered to be one of the best, I agree. It's one of the pinnacles of the Mario Party franchise, it's so good. And then, uh, of course, what comes after 2 is Mario Party 3. It's so good. My fa personal favorite. This is, I think, my favorite Mario Party in the whole series. These are the holy trinity of Mario Party right here. Mario Party 1, 2, and 3. 3 being the best, 2 is the like second best, and then, uh, I'll make my list another day, but that's a start off, so now, so now you know uh, the holy trinity. Love these games. It's so good. Uh, next up, we got... Paper Mario, the OG Paper Mario. I love this game very, very much. There's still a Blockbuster sticker on it. That's a blast from the past, I'm sure. I love this game so much. Unfortunately, I think it crashed on me one day and I lost all my save data. I really hope it's not damaged the whole system or whole cartridge, but I'm gonna have to get back to that. I love this game very much. Mario Tennis, also a lot of fun. Still play this with my friends. We get heated. It's, it gets intense, guys. Like, if you want a really intense game, this is the one. That match music or the set point music, oh, you have no idea how intense we get. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, these are just some off titles uh, I got over here. We got Mark, uh, not our card, sorry. <laughs> Mortal Kombat Trilogy. A lot of fun. I like this game a lot. Me and my brother used to play this a lot of time. Uh, a long, sorry, a lot of times. Uh, yeah, it was a great time. We really, really played a lot of this. Uh, so much fun. Cruising USA, also a lot of fun. It's like the, the it's like a port of those uh, arcade classics uh, that you would play at like Chuck E. Cheese or something. Really fun game. Now for another set of awesome games, we got Banjo Kazooie, another fan favorite of mine. I love this series so much. The music, everything about it. 
so good. So yeah, Banjo Kazooie's great. Banjo Tooie, also phenomenal game. Super good. Uh, I love the sequel. It's big, a lot to do, but it's so great. Uh, we got OG Smash Bros. You know, gotta have every game in the series. I love Smash Bros. This one's still fun to play with friends too. Just pop it in. And uh, if there's one thing you notice when you go to university or college, uh, every dorm room has Smash and a copy of Smash in N64. Because you know, what better way to get uh, acquainted with your friends is uh, beating the crap out of them in the Smash Bros. Maybe you know, have some fun. It's a good time. <laughs> Otherwise, we got of course Zelda Ocarina of Time. Needless to say, really fun game. Majora's Mask, it's a cool little hologram one. It's pretty solid. Really awesome. Diddy Kong Racing, also a lot of fun. Um, Donkey Kong 64, you know, you gotta have it. It's it's a big game and it gets a lot of like flack for having too much to do. If you just want to own it and play it for a bit, it's a good time, but uh, beating it's definitely uh, no easy task to say the least. Got Mario Golf 64, a lot of fun. Uh, Goldeneye, oh boy, this is a this is a classic gem right here. A lot of fun, it's a great game. Uh, let's see, we've got two more games. Uh, what's left? We got Kirby and the Crystal Shark uh, Sharks, as I like to call it. <laughs> Kirby Shark. Uh, that's immature. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, yeah, so yeah, this game is great. Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards. It's a lot of fun. I know Vinny just recently streamed it on Vine Sauce. I don't know if any of you guys are Vine Sauce fans. I am. And this game's great. Love it. Uh, and Pokemon Stadium. That's the last one for N64 games. This is also a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, here's a little, you know, zoom out. It's kind of blurry. But yeah, there's all these N64 goodness and games and everything. I love it. And then, uh, yeah, that just leaves one last thing. And that would have to be the DS and 3DS games. I'm gonna see you guys there. Alrighty guys, here we are with the final uh, part of this uh, collection video. We got the handheld games. So uh, starting us off, we got the whole bunch of 3DS games over here. We got Super Street Fighter 4 for the 3DS. That's a lot of fun. Um, I'm really getting that. Kind of got stale fast, but it's a really cool game if you uh, want to ever play a quick fix of Street Fighter. Uh, Super Mario 3D Land. Awesome game. A lot of fun. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, you know what, it's not as good as the original, but I still liked it a lot. The animations were beautiful. Really, Luigi hasn't looked more animated in a game, honestly, so definitely don't pass this one up, guys. Uh, we got New Super Mario Bros. 2. I did not like this game. I'll be honest, I did not like it. Not only was it not original with its uh, level design stuff, it just, the coins made the game way too easy. You got lives like crazy. Like, it was ridiculously easy. Uh, you know... Great for younger kids or anything like that, but definitely not my favorite Mario game. Uh, right here we got Ocarina of Time 3D. I know I have like three copies already of it already, but I loved, um, it was a great game. I liked Ocarina of Time 3D. And followed up by Majora's Mask 3D. Awesome game. I love this game a lot. Uh, you know what? This is one of my all-time favorite Zeldas, The Link Between Worlds. It's an awesome game. I love it a lot. And I recommend it to anyone who's a Zelda fan. Uh, Smash Bros. for 3DS, awesome game also, really fun. Um, Mario Kart 7, you know what, Mario Kart is one of my favorite uh, game series, but unfortunately, this one just kind of fell short. It was a cool concept, I liked the, the whole, like, everything about it was awesome, just the roster of characters just kind of didn't do it for me. Uh, Honey Queen, I'm sorry guys, I just did not like that, but it's, a, it's an okay game, it's fun. Mario Kart 8 is obviously a million times better, but uh, definitely a cool game nonetheless. Mario Tennis Open, fun game. It's tennis, your standard. Mario and Luigi Dream Team was the last Mario and Luigi game I played, which I think it is... No, no, Paper Jam is the most recent, but... Uh, as if you don't count the remake, of course. Uh, otherwise, this game was a lot of fun. I really like this a lot. Uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby, this was, gave me a lot of... like. A, I had tons of fun, like a lot of nostalgia being back in the region, uh, and everything about it was awesome. Sticker Star, <laughs> oh boy. Well, uh, where do I begin? Uh, let's just not talk about it. No. <laughs> okay, well, that should say it enough, but I uh, definitely did not like Sticker Star. And that's why you probably are noticed I didn't have Color Splash in my Wii U titles. Um, Mario Party Island Tour, eh, eh, it's alright, it's okay, it's... I don't know why I really 
purchased it, but uh, looking back at it, I kind of regret it because it's meh, but it's okay. Animal Crossing New Leaf, a lot of fun. I mean, Animal Crossing, we can't go wrong with that. It's a great time. Tamatachi Life, uh, that's cool. You know, it's a it's a weird game, very obscure, but it's uh, it's really fun. I like it a lot. It's cool. All right, so that's it for 3DS games. Otherwise, we got all the DS, and then we're finished, guys. Ooh, this is crazy. Um, so we got New Super Mario Bros. The OG original, a lot of fun. Super Mario 64 DS. I remember begging my parents for this game. I had so much fun with this game. Kept me busy for, felt like forever. It was so much fun. Uh, Partners in Time, also a fantastic game. I really like the idea of going back in time and, and traveling and seeing your younger selves. Like you know, this was really, really, really cool. I really enjoyed this. Uh, Bowser's Inside Story was cool. I liked it a lot. It's all right. It's a pretty fun game. Uh, Yoshi's Island DS, also pretty cool and fun. Uh, I liked it a lot with all the different types of babies. Like Baby Wario was pretty freaking awesome. Uh, Super Princess Peach. <laughs> You know, bef in before all the comments saying it's a girls game, you know, that's subjective, but it was fun, and uh, I don't really like it anymore. It's kind of crappy, and uh, yeah. Little shout out to Relax Alax, um, even though I highly doubt he watches my videos. He explained it pretty well why it's not the greatest game. Otherwise, Mario Party DS, this was like really awesome. I really like Mario Party DS. Playing this on the way to Niagara Falls and traveling with my cousins and playing this in the car. You know, this was a phenomenal game. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Miniland, uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong Miniland Mayhem. You know, this game is cool. Uh, I wish it went back to their original route, but this was a fun game. I like making my own levels. That was fun. Wario Master Disguise. That's one of the most obscure games that I don't feel a lot of people know about, but it's uh, it's cool. Um, I kind of lost the game, unfortunately, but uh, I remember it being interesting. Kind of hard, though, but it was a fun game. Uh, Zelda Spirit Tracks. This was a cool game. Uh, Link as a conductor for a train. That's uh, obscure in itself, but I thought it was a lot of fun. Superstar Ultra Kirby. Oh my goodness, I love this game. You know, it goes without saying. It's an awesome game. WarioWare DIY. I remember making some games and stuff. It was a fun game. Um, WarioWare is what you expect. It's random. It's kooky. It's crazy. Loon Loon Looney and Zany. It's a, it's a good time. Drawn to Life, also a really obscure game, a lot of fun, I had fun playing that back in the day because I love drawing, I still do. Um, you can be really immature and draw stuff, and uh, I don't even need to explain why, but it's a fun time. <laughs> and then Dragon Quest, uh, Sentinels of the Starry Skies, you know, really fun game. It's a cool RPG, Too, a long game, I didn't really get to beat it, but it's a lot of fun. And then of course, last but not least, the first DS game I ever played, Mario Kart DS. Um, yeah, and so that concludes my uh, video game collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, those are all my games, and of course, it's always growing constantly. Not as fast because, you know, it's expensive hobby, but, you know, definitely awesome to collect nonetheless. And I hope uh, all of you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you have a game in mind that you want me to talk about for the first uh, of my new series, just comment below, and uh, I'll see if I can pick it, and I'll mention your comment. So uh, yeah, thank you so much guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.